What's up everybody, another beautiful day in the Dragon House, and today we're taking a look at Heroic Council of Dreams in the new raid Amirdrasil The Dreams Hope. Now I'll be going over all the new mechanics, how they work, and how to deal with them. Now keep in mind this is PTR, so things can change or be reworked completely. Now the aptly named Council of Dream is a council style fight. Three bosses, each with their own set of abilities, ultimate, and movement pattern, and they also happen to count each other. Isn't that lucky? Now all three needs to die within a few seconds of each other or they combat risk each other, damn druids. Now the tank needs to pick up the bear bear urk toss. Erwin and Pip does not need to be tanked, they're doing their own thing. Erwin does not need to be tanked like I said and she cannot be moved. She will however leap away every 30 energy or so. This seemed to always jump away from the largest clump of players. Now on top of this, Erwin spawns a ton of noxious blossoms all over the ground. Any player that moves into proximity of these takes a ton of damage. She will also throw javelins on random players, poisoning them, and this is dispellable. Deals a ton of ticking damage and slows your movement by 30%. Now at 100 energy, she will cast Constricting Thicket. Every player gets a vine to the face, take a ton of damage over time, and reduces movement speed by 10%, and these effects stack the longer you're being constricted. You also get pulled towards the boss, potentially through Noxious Blossoms. Now during this, Erwin is susceptible to Urk Toss Barreling Charge, which he aims towards the active tank. So whenever this is being cast, the active tank needs to aim the charge towards Erwin to interrupt it. Fail and she casts Relentless Barrage, which is not awesome. You die. Now Urk Toss will slap tanks with a Frontal Cone, Agonizing Claws, dealing lethal damage and increasing damage taken by Agonizing Claws by 150% to anyone hit, so melee beware. Now Urktas also casts Barreling Charge, aimed at the active tank. Now you need to have a few players get hit by this every time he charges. It deals a chunk of damage to anyone hit and increases charge damage taken by 500% for a minute, so you need to rotate soakers. Now following a charge, he casts Thundering Impact, dealing lethal damage to everyone in the raid, and this is reduced by the number of players who got hit by the charge. Now how many you need depends on tuning as well as raid size. So a couple? More than a few? Fewer than too many? Now at 100 energy, Urktos goes into a blind rage for 20 seconds, dealing damage to everyone in the raid and each tick increases his damage done by 7% during the assault. Now this leaves Urktos susceptible to duck magic so that- wait, what? <laughs> now lastly, we have the fearsome Pip will mostly hang out near the middle of the room. Players targeted by Pip's polymorph bomb turns into ducks for 12 seconds. And the goal is to eat the noxious blossoms that Erwin spawns, clearing up space for everyone. Now as a duck, you become immune to poison effect. Now eat enough blossoms and you'll be able to unduck yourself. Now on heroic, when you preen yourself and get all purdy, any player within 7 yards gets ducked instead. Get ducked! So this means whenever Erwin Urktos casts Blinding Rage, at least one player needs to pre next to Urktos, which kinda makes him quack under the pressure. Now Pip also occasionally channels Emerald Winds, pushing all players away and deals a ton of damage. Watch out so you don't get pushed into the blossoms. Now at 100 energy, Pip casts Song of the Dragon. Everyone in the raid gets an Absorb on them that only absorbs pollen damage. Players needs to break this Absorb by standing in the Noxious Blossom. Now if you don't break it before Pip's performance has concluded, you get stunned for 15 seconds and you take a ton of damage over its duration and you do a little dance. Some say that's a DPS loss, but then again, so is moving into a blossom. Choices. Choices. Now other than that, like I mentioned earlier, Pip chills in the middle. Erwin leaps around and Urktos is tankable, so you need to drag him around to either Pip or Erwin continuously so you're able to cleave. Now I recommend Erwin as it makes aiming the charge a lot easier as it does have a max range and she can leap far away. Now due to this, 
Keep in mind that all three needs to die within seconds of each other, so do split your damage and be ready to swap targets on low health to even them out. Naturally, Urk Toss and whatever target you cleave will go down a lot faster than the boss not being cleaved. The big brain. So range DPS, dots, and player swapping will be needed on that one. Or you stack 30 boomkins and just starfall pot. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Council of Dreams on Heroic and Normal. Now, if you have any questions at all about this encounter hit me up in the comments below or become a patron or twitch sub and get access to the stanky gaming discord where you can get help with anything rating related you can also get shout outs and videos and things like that i also stream all my testing and progression on twitch stanky gaming so do check that out and don't forget the usual stuff like comment subscribe and ring that notification bell thank you all for watching i will uh, see you next time Quack.